I'm playing against a Gul'dan. This is probably a bad matchup for her. Warlock's pretty good against Hunter. I uh, just want to keep non-chargers. So... Oh no. If only I drew like the latter games. We'll see though. I am going straight for the face. I don't know what this... Oh, okay, well, hero power. Can't really play the trap, it's, it's like more of a reactionary card. If it was snake trap or freezing, I, I would play it, but not this trap. Okay, so, gonna go and play wolf rider, go face. She still has a coin. I guess that's pretty good. Okay, so I should at least do this attack to get through the taunt. Um, I think it's okay for me to use my next couple of turns drawing into burn and then try to clear the taunts later, so... Got a two dollar nation referee. Strife bro, if you win, will you win her hand in marriage? Craigasm, please win for Strife Boys. If not, how about if you win? She has to stream for an hour, Pog Champ. Love you, BV girl. I don't think Magic Amy has ever streamed. Also got a two dollar nation from the blue wombat. And yeah, there's a link. It's a picture of Raynad. I'm never lucky. Alright, I can link it. Thanks for the donations. So many possibilities. So with this taunt, like, even if she doesn't attack, I'm okay with just like tracking and like here powering and trying to like draw into more burn. Lonnie777 just subscribed. Thanks for subbing. Welcome to the Strife Crew. It's a crow fist. Okay, so probably Drake. Oh, Belcher. Another time. I guess that's bad for me. I also have to deal with these taunts. Um, okay, so I can owl this taunt. Let's see what I get first. I don't really want to owl into. Arcane Golem. Eagle Horn is probably the most damage in the long run here. I guess I can just like develop the owl here, even though it just dies for free. Um, it's like still two mana that I save for my later turns. I do think it's better trade two one for her because I have unleash an explosive. So Yeah, I can teach you how to play Face Hunter. I've been streaming it recently. Okay, no tracking. Let's see. That's my last owl. I'm gonna have to get through this the hard way. Preferably not with kill command. Okay, that's tracking. Take the burn. Uh, I don't have any more secrets, and this guy's just not impactful late game. And start.
basically working on this belt here. I'm gonna have to deal with it the hard way, so kind of just need to work on it. My goal is to burst through Molten's. Two kill commands would be nice, but I also need to get her lower, so... Taunts are the scariest thing for face hunter. And I guess antique heal bot. So many possibilities. I do a lot of damage, it's just the these taunts and the potential moltens. Okay, so there's no attack this turn. Um Guess I'm just passing as well. Or. I don't really like Arcane Goleming here. Because of the mana gain, so. It's hard for me to make like an Unleashed move or Animal Companion move on the Lothab turn. Definitely most scared of Argus now. Like Argus will push Belcher out of out of range. Also Argus is just good. It is good at Bayonet Lothar. Not Bayonet Lothar, but got that out of the way. It's one of the scariest cards for me. Okay, so this might be the turn where I have to try to go for lethal. Uh, let's see. Four, four hounds. I get one, two hound damage in. Two hound damage plus five, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So I'm off by three. But if I don't kill, then I die. So I do need to remove some of the minions. Um, Animal Companion for, let's see, do I win? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. No, that, that doesn't change anything. Um, there's not too much to do here, that's great. I think I'm gonna die to one three damage spell. It's still a lot to die to. There's no good way to do something better though. Wait, actually. I actually should have left the, the giant and then killed these two. I would have had one more hound. It doesn't really matter though. No Leoc. Well, Leoc wouldn't, wouldn't be lethal. Alright, so I get the... Oh no, I'm the... So I guess it's a ladder format. I actually can't think of like a strategy. That'd be the best. Alright, I think I'll just go small. Um, Blast Mage is really good, but... I do have a mech warper. Let's 
It's going to decide whether I play a turn one Mad Scientist or Mech Warper. Oh yeah, let me take off the deck lists. The plan here is to develop the entity as soon as possible. Probably ping it next turn and play the Spire Tank on turn 3. I'm not sure if that makes sense because then I might waste the damage. Um, I do like this more. I thought that it lined up better for that, but it doesn't. I also want to suicide a scientist as soon as possible so that I can get the Marinty down and also get out of like get rid of it from my deck. So I can't top deck it. It looks bad, but it's not actually that bad for me. Double innervate belter, uh, unless she has a really good hand after because a move like Double Iron Belcher, oftentimes you have no follow up after. Like, it's hard to have follow up. So, if she does just pass for one more turn, I think I'd be, like, even out. It is hard. It, it was hard for me to deal with this, but. That worked out okay. Hmm. Obviously, it just goes like the Larry Belcher and then follows up with a good curve. I'm pretty screwed, but that's very unlikely. Good thing is I have the NTT down as well. I think I'm actually winning right now. Ramp, but turn 5 all is not great. Ancient Lore against Mirren T is pretty bad as well. I 
I want to uh, push some damage. Still not with MC Tech. By next turn, it might be too late. Hmm. I'm trying to see if this like is a combo druid or not. I don't know. Um, I guess it's not really something I play around unless I'm at 14. Or I die a combo with a minion. <laughs> 21 damage for the combo. This could go really bad for me. Um, I just had to push some damage. And I believe that involves Blast Mage as well. Mm. I can get um, the spare part freeze. I Let's see, what can I do? I think it's screwed by MC Tech plus Solanus Steel, kind of. Two dollar nation bossy bomb. Change your stream title to know about the blossoming love between you two's match. All right. What was the match? Okay, no MC tech. I think that's the only way I could lose. Ancient of War. Okay, so this is Taunt Druid. Need one ping on the Ancient of War. This is okay. Like I took the risk that I get one ping, right? So I can trade uh, the spire tank, but this is still fine. I don't get to trade the spire tank, but
Uh oh. I still might be fine. I need to get Archmage. Um, let's see. Uh, I guess I'm dead.
Should be freeze mage actually now. Basically against Freeze Mage, um, not really many targets anyways, or any targets. I really need a um, sprint. Probably will get flame shark too. Um, it's not too bad for me to take damage here before Alex Straza, because most of the time it's Alex Straza. I'm like an AOE class as well, so I don't want to attack like single target minions down. I prefer to use Blade Flurry to clear if I do need to clear.
This board is still a threat. I think I'll stop attacking. Um, probably able to spend all 10 mana soon, even with prep. Gotta hope no Alex draws of this turn. I might not have two mana to remake the dagger next turn if I get Tinker Oil. Alex draws that's pretty good for me. I'm not sure if I can give up this turn. Sprint would still cost four mana, then lose my Drake. So, yeah, I'd definitely have to sap this over that. I only have this last Doomsayer sap. I guess sap Alex is okay, but it's not a big deal. Hmm. Basically, I have to hope that she doesn't draw Alex in the next couple of turns and have a chance. Um, I know she didn't have Alex last turn, so Doomsayer is really buying time to draw Alex. I can actually lose without Alex, just burn like a whole bunch of fireballs. At 24, it's not like I guarantee that I can't lose that way. Maybe at 30, you know? Power Blast is almost as scary as Alex. So 14, I can die next turn. Uh, I need to get the heal. And damage. Okay, so I really need to play Tinker Oil for damage, but I can't really do that. Actually, it doesn't matter. I might as well play oil even if I die. Because if you think about it, 
Actually, it's possible that- no, that's not true. It's possible that she doesn't have enough burn to kill me if I heal. Because even if I don't die, I'll die next turn if she has enough burn, right? That's what I was thinking of, but it's possible that the total sum of the burn is less than if I heal. I think it's possible that I want to keep Wolf Rider against Rogue. Like, the minions aren't good against Rogue because they die very easily. So it's possible that, since Rogue doesn't fight for board control, you want to just keep a whole handful of chargers from the start. Or at least chargers that don't, um... That don't give your opponent mana. So definitely not the Arcane Golem, but... No perm bands if I lose. Just a friendly match. explosive trap soon. I guess I have one more turn. I don't need it now. Even if I get it, I would still play this guy if I tracking for it.
Okay, so I have eight damage next turn. Uh, I need to do three more damage to win. They yeah, should have coined actually. I Hounds is a. Uh, I guess it's the same. It shouldn't be more damage because. If there's one minion, three whelps, unleashes for three compared to ping for two. But I'm missing a ping next turn, so if it's more damage, I have to get four hounds before it's equal, and five before it's more. Um, hard to have five next turn. so close I think I still have a good chance though because this sets me up for lethal next turn and I have a good chance of not dying Well, I didn't check trap, but I know it's. Ex I only have explosive trap in my deck. No, eviscerate doesn't kill me. Five. Rogue plus Major on the same. I'll probably play Rogue first, so I will be your death. that way, when I if I lose, I look less bad because the score is better. I don't think I'll ever keep two preps. Score is one three down. Oh, okay. I think my rogue is more aggressive, like more face. So I think that's a little bit better. That's why I pick rogue. 
That's a good pickup. Best three drop for me. Sprint is a good pickup for my turn uh, for prep sprint. It's one of the reasons why you can keep prep in this deck. Not the only reason, though. Not gonna attack, I have stuff to do with all my mana next turn. Not gonna wanna remake a dagger. Definitely most scared of coin bot teacher. Okay, so. Perfect. With a three attack minion, my ideal thing to do next turn um, is the deadly poison blade flurry. This matchup is largely just about like damage. In some of the other matchups, it's very like the better go about teacher deadly poison. I'll have to see if there's another minion to AOE down. That'll probably happen. Let's see how much damage do I have. Six, ten, fifteen around. Um, still don't actually have enough damage to really justify eviscerating the face. Okay. So I definitely can't. Um, can't punch that guy. Actually, um, don't have enough mana to like kill with SI, unfortunately. I think I might just eviscerate that instead of Blade Flurry. I need to unstealth. Because I want to drop a minion next turn. Um, so I'm better off if she single targets the shade down compared to if I drop a minion next turn and it gets blade flurried down. I can at least try to force out a blade flurry this turn. So 
Savat teacher's decent at forcing it out. Basically, I never want to have like two mid range minions on board at a time. Um, just trying to not be too weak to Blade Flurry. I could try to save my own Blade Flurry for something more, but I do have a backstab uh, and spell power and agent, so I don't think I'll need a Blade Flurry like anything. I think that was a okay one. Might not be dead yet. We'll see. I didn't feel like she's used a lot of burst already, so. Looks like I'm dead. Is there a way I can do this? I'm not dead. I don't think so, unfortunately. Ah, <laughs> uh, dead. Tell it that. Uh, I was pretty close to dead, anyways. <laughs> 